Perfect popcorn. You're doing it wrong. And here's the good news. Most people are doing popcorn so poorly that there's a ton of room for improvement. First things first. Go out and make sure you have one of these. Ooh, a microwave. Wrong again. What you really want is one of these. What the hell is that thing? It's a whirly pop, you dumb troll. Uh -huh. <laughs> a whirly pop is a stove top pot with a handle that you turn so your popcorn doesn't burn. And everybody knows cooking on a stove top tastes way better than cooking out of a microwave. Don't be an animal. And for step two, you're going to go out and find the biggest, cheapest popcorn you can find. <coughs> the pop secret is that Orville Redenbacher didn't know Jack about good popcorn. You want to go out and find yourself some of this. And this is Heritage Popcorn. Heritage Popcorn is popcorn with non-GMOs or selective breeding or any crapola that bleh, poisons. Here's a fun fact. Orville Redenbacher died in a hot tub. So don't buy popcorn from somebody who dies taking a fancy bath. Step three, go out and get the biggest tub of lard you can find. <coughs> what you actually want is grape seed oil. Hey guy, but why grape seed oil? It's because of three reasons. One, it has a higher smoke point, which gives your corn more crunch. Two, it has a light, buttery flavor. Three, it's better for you than butter or lard, but if you're eating popcorn, do you really care? In summary, use a whirly pop, old school popcorn, and grape seed oil. But what if I don't like popcorn? As usual, you have to ignore all the trolls. Go get poppin', buddies.